Wayland is a display server protocol that has been designed as a replacement for the X, aka X11, or Zorg window system, which has been the most widely used windowing system on Linux and Unix-like operating systems for decades. Wayland was developed as a modern, lightweight alternative to X, with the goal of improving performance, security, and flexibility. In this review, we will explore the features and capabilities of Wayland, as well as its adoption and implementation in various Linux distributions and desktop environments. One of the main advantages of Wayland is its performance. It has a simpler design and fewer layers than X, which allows it to be more efficient and faster. Wayland also uses less memory and CPU resources, which can be beneficial for devices with limited hardware resources. Another key feature of Wayland is its support for modern graphics technologies, such as compositing and hardware acceleration. This allows Wayland to provide a smooth and responsive user experience, with support for high-quality graphics and visual effects. In terms of security, Wayland has a number of features that make it more secure than X. For example, it uses a stricter separation between the display server and client applications, which can prevent malicious applications from gaining access to the display server and potentially compromising the system. Wayland also uses a more secure communication protocol, which makes it harder for attackers to intercept and manipulate data. Another major advantage of Wayland is its flexibility. It allows developers to create custom compositors in desktop environments that can take advantage of its features and capabilities. This can enable the creation of innovative and unique user interfaces and experiences without the constraints of the X window system. Wayland also supports a wide range of input devices, such as touchscreens, styluses, and multi-touch gestures, which can be useful for devices with specialized input methods. Despite its many benefits, Wayland has faced some challenges in its adoption and implementation. One issue is that it is a relatively new technology, and many Linux distributions and desktop environments are still using X as the default display server. This means that some applications and features may not be fully compatible with Wayland, or may require additional work to support it. There is also a learning curve for developers who are familiar with X but want to transition to Wayland, as the two systems have some differences in their architecture and programming interfaces. Despite these challenges, Wayland has made significant progress in recent years, and it is becoming increasingly widely adopted. Many popular Linux distributions, such as Fedora, Ubuntu, and Arch Linux, now offer Wayland as an option, and some even use it as the default display server. Wayland is also supported by a range of desktop environments, such as GNOME, KDE, and Enlightenment, which allows users to choose the environment that best fits their needs. In conclusion, Wayland is a promising display server protocol that offers a number of benefits over the X window system. It has a modern design, with improved performance, security, and flexibility, and it is gaining wider adoption in the Linux ecosystem. While it still has some challenges to overcome, Wayland has the potential to become the standard display server for Linux and Unix-like operating systems in the future. If you liked this video please like, share, and subscribe.